Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Southern Boy Prepper Channel. Coming to you from South Louisiana. Today's a work day on the homestead. My wife called me yesterday and said there was something wrong with my uh, my side by side, and I'm not too sure what it is, but I think it's a fuel problem. And she was on uh, almost empty, so it might just be that. So we're kind of hoping that we put the diesel in this big thing and actually see if it's uh, okay. I actually um, want to get everything topped off, make sure all engines are running. Uh, I got my, uh, as you see, I got my tractor out there. It's running right now because it hasn't ran in a while. I'm going to get this side by side topped off. I'm going to get everything topped off. I do have a another generator. I don't know if you can see it way back there with all the mess. It's yellow right on the side of the uh, zero turn. So what I'm going to do is make sure that thing's running. Let it run for a while. And um, I kind of let my fuel on all of my extra gas cans get empty kind of happens a lot you know my whole goal of having all these gas cans is to have quite a bit of fuel readily on hand so one of the missions for today is get these cans topped off again uh, get all the equipment running this is an old lawnmower but a really cool one uh, this this lawnmower here is has three wheels it's a turf ranger and let me tell you this thing has cut some grass uh, it's got a hydraulic lift and that blade actually picks up and I can actually bush hog with it or I can cut golf course grass so that needs to be repaired because I actually changed to this and so that kind of gets disrespected and it sits and I uh, really need to get it sold is what I need to do get it out of here um, I do have my tiller back there, so my plans are is to hook this thing up to my to my tractor and actually uh, get some dirt tilled up so it can start planting. That's my goal. Will it happen soon? I'm not sure. We do have uh, secondary freezers and refrigerators inside the garage. This is a six-car garage, but as you can see, there ain't no cars can come in here. It's got gotten absolutely packed with stuff. Um, so eventually, we'll get it where it needs to be. So let's see, put this, I think I put the cap back on. I'm gonna see if, I'll see if this thing will uh, actually crank. So, neutral, let's let the glow plug run a little bit. And uh, hope we don't have to send this thing to the shop. Here we go, guys. Maybe it just was a fuel problem. So, maybe it was just it was almost out of fuel. <laughs> so we'll see if, um, we're gonna let this thing warm up. Let the engine warm up a little bit and then uh, we will go ahead and try to see if we can get this thing moving and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. So this is the homestead with some of my kids. Um, I sit on about 10 acres and um, I first initially got that three-wheeled uh, lawnmower used and that's what I was trying to bush hog this place with and it wasn't working too well so then I went to this resorted to getting a tractor so that works really well now I'm finding that this zero turn is amazing I think cuts my property in half the time. So this was for a dog can at one time. This has to be removed. Um, it worked fine. Everybody couldn't wait to get out. We have quite a bit of dog. Couldn't wait to get out and run to the dog pen. And um, we'd get them locked up inside there. And and um, then they would start digging holes through the fence and then getting out. And then we'd have to go chase them down the road. So then I decided to put a uh, shock wire around it and after being touched a few times I can't even get these guys inside this pen I don't care what it is you can forget it so that's gonna come down 
Uh, we're gonna take all of this down because it's not helping. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that needs to be done that didn't get done. We gotta remove this pool. Uh, that was a waste. Uh, we do have another outbuilding over there. This was a pool house, this little small building. Uh, ironically, they used to have a 40-foot Olympic-sized swimming pool right where that pool sat. It started like at that pole and went this way. But when we purchased the property, it had been hadn't been lived on in quite some time. Um, they actually uh, had filled it in prior. So my wife said, go get a shovel and start digging it up. And I don't think that would be a good idea. Uh, we do have some outbuildings. We have this outbuilding here. Um, everything needs paint, of course. Please excuse it. Um, but there's a lot of buildings we don't even use. Um, of course, this is a Christmas shed, we call it now. That's where my wife keeps all our Christmas stuff. And probably that room, too, is probably full of... No, no, I've changed all of that. One of my projects is to get these tanks... Um, ready uh, so I can uh, have a water cistern that's one of the things that I do want to go my property goes way back past this old shed um, it goes into another area I'll kind of show you this is an old rundown building needs to be torn down uh, I have a friend that says now nah, let's just fix the wall it's storage you can put a lot of stuff in there so tell me what you guys think what should I do I think it should be torn down all the other walls are sturdy except the front. Uh, there's no leaks on the roof, but I think that's coming. I got a few radio towers, number of places. There is junk everywhere it's here. I just figured I just kind of, it's a beautiful day today in Louisiana, sun shining. Um, this used to be a place where he would keep a horse or two. And where this fence line is, um, on the other side, that was a garden one of his gardens it would get shade and also sunlight but now it's starting to get grown over with all of these trees and squirrels and everything that's around here back here in this area he used to have a a born that was his mr brown's first born it would go about from right here all the way to the fence line and there's a cement slab back there it burnt down so he rebuilt years later uh, this this prop I mean and he built this house in the 50s so it's an older home but it's 3500 square foot so it's quite a bit of square footage um, go around this side if I can get there another radio tower it's one of my other projects to put my ham radio up I got a lot of radios and they're just sitting there being dormant not being used and that wasn't my plan but work is really busy and I just can't get away from work you know this is another barn that he had that he built after that and it's not in too good a shape either but the left side these two areas are really solid um there's no leaks or anything but on this side it's pretty bad there's a lot of stuff that he still has back there we haven't even messed with we got this little video shed i don't know what that was kind of like a little pump shed or something uh, that needs to be torn down as well and then my property goes back all over there we had tried to start cutting and that's where the barn is when i walked around where i showed you earlier if you come through here and you go back there you can see where i started kind of making a cut but i'm so scared because there's so much junk on this property it's not even funny um and it's something that i need to get well i'll show you we'll walk over here and uh you see where i cut here i was standing over there a while ago so if you come this way i've cut and you can see man there's a mess here old tires and i think this used to be like a dumping ground for people this is the start of the cement for the barn and it goes back to the fence line so really i don't know how much cement i've never it may not be as much as i think it is but this is a cement slab that goes back quite a bit so I'd like to clean that off because, you know, maybe maybe eventually we can put some kind of building here or something uh, before we tear this. I, I really don't use this barn. I don't know why I said that. Um, it's really a junk place. It, it needs to be cleaned out. Um, we can bring stuff to um, the city dump. They do accept stuff, but 
tires, man. I got there's so many tires on this property, it's not even funny. So I did think about getting all the tires rounded up and using that as a base layer for a mound so I can have sort of like a shooting range. You know, as I said, you know, there's tires everywhere. And um, if you walk through the this is part of the home, excuse what it looks like. I tried to clean this area out. You now let's go through here instead of going around. So you can go through this area here. I love the trees. I love them because I like the cover that is privacy, you know? Nobody can, oh, there's some more tires. It, it's more privacy that people can't see you. So we own like about 9.8 acres and we're on the outskirts of a small town. We're not in a big city. Uh, we do go like, the biggest city that we have around here is like Lake Charles, which is still quite a, few, quite a bit away. So we come through here and if you can see back here, this is a, was a fenced off, air, fenced off area. There's another little building back there. It's kind of like a garden shed. So he did have another garden in this area, uh, which when you walk past this fence, torn down fence and everything, but really right now it's just so much thicker. It's not even funny. And uh, the more junk. So he had an old tiller in there and some garden supplies. Um, he had a chair way on the other side on the fence line. Uh, not the property fence line, but the fence line for the garden. Uh, he had a chair where he would sit all the time. So one of the things I want to get is a metal detector and try to check and see if I can dig for some coins or something because that's where his place was. He sat for 20 or 30 years when he was doing his gardening. It's kind of funny that the chair was still sitting there when we purchased this property and he had passed away years before we bought it from the family. So then you go to uh, behind the house, I did have a shed, the f last place I lived, and you can see it right here. I moved it here, so that's another building that I have. So I have quite a bit of buildings here. They're just not being utilized like I wanted to. Um, there's probably a couple of acres on the other side of that home, our home, that goes to the back properly line. Now, as I walk through this cut, you can see the fence line, and that's where my property line stops on this end. Um, we have all of this area that I have to cut as well. Nothing going on back here, but this is the potential for the guard, for the large garden. I purchased some quite a bit of corn that I want to put up. I want to do some beans, and I want to get a normal garden for people uh, for for like the vegetables like the tomatoes and all the other stuff I do believe it's time to get this going it's been a little bit this is a lot of area that I could be utilizing it's an immense amount so our whole goal was to make this homestead with buildings around it for our children to where we can have a community and some of the guys that I go around with we're this will be some of their areas that they'll be setting up shop when it gets bad. Um, so I'll have more people on the property. Now this is a pond that I have on the property. It's small. It needs help, but uh, it's full of water. That's pretty cool. So we did get a lot of rain, so that helps out. There is fish in here. Uh, we don't fish it. <laughs> I don't have time. The kids are not really that interested, but I do have the equipment to do the fishing. We dropped some lines in here. We caught some perch and I caught a little bass. And I caught some other kind of fish that I don't know what it is. Um, so I think the pond is not really that deep. I think it's about 14 foot deep in the middle. But um, one of the things I did want to do was actually, um, you can see it where I, something just rippled the water over there. What I want to do is um, get it cleaned out and make it look nice, man. It's just my work. I'm always traveling somewhere as out of state or I just don't have the time to do anything. I really didn't think I was going to be making a video today either. But um, I started starting equipment up, get my things ready. I said, hey, why not? You know, let's make a video. So you can walk through this field here. 
we'll walk you through and it has been terribly nasty in our area um, the ground doesn't want to dry up good enough to actually cut I'd be making ruts everywhere um, it's just we've gotten so much rain and I know I'm gonna get I'm not going that way anyway I was gonna walk you around the back side of the property but I'm about to get my feet we don't want to do that um, so if you go through right straight through there there's a I have a bamboo field, a little patch. There's a lot of bamboo back there. Um, so they got like a, they have like a, a pathway cut between through the field, which I thought was really cool. So we'd ride our go karts and our side by sides through it. So I need to clean that up too. I'm not going to get rid of the bamboo field. It's really cool. Uh, some people don't like it because it spreads. The bamboo when it takes hold, it starts spreading and it doesn't stop. Um, but it really I'm not too con concerned about that because that's areas we really don't even go around um, so I come back through this side and I'll show you what we did put in my, my daughter put up a building her and her fiance and uh, it's really exciting that they're going to be on the property as well they haven't really started on the building of the insides but um I think it's a 12 by 40. Um, one of the buildings that you can get from these um, rental places that you can rent to own for three years. So they're going to rent it for three years and then they'll be theirs. And it was the same thing that I wanted a long time ago. I actually wanted to buy a piece of property, a couple of acres or something, and and buy one of those buildings and set it up three years I'd have a home paid for and land paid for and um, it wouldn't have no bills but things don't happen that way you end up getting a bigger home and man am I ready to have a smaller home but thing seems like everybody's coming back together and we got the full family back in our uh, everything's still running that's running that's running I'm gonna let that side by side run a little bit let it warm up but as I do this, I'll walk to the front of the property. Excuse me for the shakiness, using my phone, so I'm sure it's not that clear. I need to start using the camera is what I need to do. We've got a large Canon 60D that I could be using, and one of my daughters has a really nice camera that she used for vlogs. Vlogs, vlogs, however you call it. So this is where we set up the other building. Um, part of the homesteading idea and it's a I think it's a it's not a 12 it might be a 14 heck I don't know I think it might be a 14 by 40 might be a 12 by 42 but it's man it's really it's really neat um, I like these buildings I have a friend really close friend that that's exactly what they did he jumped the gun on me I mean I bought the big house but he bought he bought one a size like this and uh he's got like sixteen hundred dollars to pay left on it after th almost three years and it's paid for and man you have a home uh if you guys not subscribe to prepper nurse do it because uh you can see what i'm talking about his home is uh is a building similar to this and he's got it as a, as a home now this one here it's a dark skin building um I don't know if it's open. Yay, it's open. So, oh, so you can see. So you can see that um, it's uh, they got the insulation to start, and then they kind of built some walls back there, to kind of partitions of rooms. It's a little messy. So that's what that is. So then if you walk around, so I, I've been, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to cut, man. i tell you what, if uh, if you don't know how much 10 acres and how long it takes to cut grass, it's a shame. It's a lot. So then my property goes to the proper line here. That's where that bamboo field is over there. So excuse the mess. We haven't been able to cut for over a year. No, I say a year. For a whole season for sure. I mean... Louisiana has gotten 
its share of rain, I tell you. And uh, I did post a video one time uh, for security, security lighting. And I'll show you one of them because I did it in the nighttime. So we'll walk over to it. It's one of these solar powered lights that you can get at Sam's. Um, I really like them. I have two more to set up. Uh, so this driveway is about 600 foot. It's a curved driveway. It goes all the way to the driveway. That's the only way into my property with a vehicle. So at the property line over there, I'll show you something. Let me walk over here first. <clears throat> okay, so these are the solar lightings I have set up, and I have them in multiple different locations. So if you pass this area, it's going to light up. And it lights this whole area up. It just lit up. <laughs> So as you walk, if you've seen the video, you'll see how they light up as you pass. And the whole, you know, the whole reason that I did that, it really wasn't for giving yourself light. The reason was is to make people aware if they're driving down the road that somebody could be watching. Security is a, is a key thing, especially with what we're going through right now. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You have to have any kind of deterrence that you can um to keep people off your property and that's a long walk so i get over here at the driveway and i have the same setup i have another light set up as well so at nighttime if you pull into the driveway once you cross that pole i don't know if you can see it right there um the light will go off and um it will warn people that somebody's watching possibly with cameras or whatever else so now we're far away from the road so i also have these motion monitors all over my property i'll show you this one because heck it's a driveway everybody sees it so if you cross it i know where you are i know if you're at my gate i know if you're by my garage i know if you're walking from the other side of the property um because um, when you're at home and it's one o'clock in the morning, you're sleeping, you're not going to know if somebody's on your property taking your stuff. You're just not going to know if you don't have an alert system. Dogs are great. Don't get me wrong. I love the dogs. But if you're quiet enough, you can bypass them dogs as well. But not my dogs. You'll know I have dogs the minute that you cross that gate or cross any motion sensor because they go crazy. And, um, that's a... That's another deterrence for someone that knowing that a homeowner has dogs he can possibly let out and they definitely wouldn't want my dogs out on them for sure. Uh, probably a big liability concern for me, but you know what? I, I probably wouldn't do that unless I knew my, my life was in danger. Um, have means of protection, guys. Uh, but I do have an alarm system in my home as well, and I have cameras all over the place. Uh, my house, almost er almost every room, except the private rooms, you know, like the bedrooms and, uh, well, my room has it. But uh, any of the other children's rooms or guest rooms don't have cameras in it. But hallways, sunroom, all the main rooms that someone would have access, there's a video camera there filming. Um, 24 hours around the clock. I have them in my garage. I have them all over. Um, and I have another setup, which I'm going to show in the next video. No, not next video, but one of these videos that I do have. I'm going to show it after it's installed, which is a really cool system. I, I would venture to say it's it's in the thousands of how much it costs. I, um, it's got pan and tilt zoom. It's really industrial type cameras. So I do plan on putting one, changing the one up at the gate and putting that one up. And then also putting one on the center pole, that, that really tall pole that's right there. I plan on putting one there that kind of will catch a lot of areas that I can pan around and see my property from wherever I am. Um, we do have battery, we do have a generator on our home. And, you know, we had some power issues here with, with our providers, electrical providers. And so... You know, you can't be without power. You know, if you can, don't get me wrong. I mean, I have things set up to, and you know, if we gotta go back to the olden days, we may have to. But but I do have uh, a Generac 25KW, which will take care of my entire home. Um, 
Got that set up. Uh, it's a Guardian. Man, my gosh, this thing needs to be clean. And I also have the uh, mobile link that tells me when it cycles for test. Test every day, every uh, every week uh, on a Sunday. And it sends me an alert that says, hey, your generator's running. And it says, hey, all systems are good, you're ready. And uh, if there's any power failure, you'll also notify me as well. Oh, that's my son. Hi, Dev. You should check him out. Um, he, he has his own YouTube channel. He likes to eat hot peppers. So, me, I'm new to this. I haven't done this before, so uh, please uh, bear with the strain that you're probably dealing with right now trying to hear me talk. But we're from Louisiana, and if you starve in Louisiana, I can promise you it's by your own, by your own design because there's plenty of food to, to be got. We grew up, I grew up with my grandfather um, trapping. Uh, we'd also run trout lines, catch fish. There's crawfish here, there's everything. So we eat a lot of stuff over here. And um, and if you go hungry, it's because of your own will. But anyway, besides that, I still store foods. And I got quite a bit uh, stocked up. Different locations on the property, different things on the property, a number of places. Uh, you might have heard that tone just now. That's my Arlo that's uh, notifying that I just walked by it. And you can see as I have those solar lights there, and also have another motion sensor there. So if you drive down my driveway, you come all the way up to here, then it tells me, hey, you're here as well. So keep security in mind, guys, no matter what kind of home you have. I don't care if you have a, a mobile home on a 50 by 100 foot lot like I used to have. You need to have something that will alert you of people that are on your property. Hey, there's one of my kitties. I call her mama. The kids call her something else. Hey, mama. So she's, uh, I guess she's wanting to swim. She's in the middle of the swimming pool. She's peeking at me. And anyway, we love animals. And uh, get your stuff together because I think we're about to see some rough times coming up and that's what I'm doing. So I got a full day today, guys. So I'm gonna get off of this thing. And uh, I hope everyone well. Get your stuff together if you still have time before it's too late. We'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out.